In this clip, I'm going to show you how to create a new sequence. Now let's talk about sequences. What is a sequence? Think of a sequence like a container. This container is going to hold all of your media files and allow you to arrange them in any order that you want. You can layer them on top of one another, you can make them shorter, longer, you can cut them. This is basically where all your magic is going to happen, inside of the sequence. Now where is the sequence located? Well, it's located in two places. Your sequence is located in your browser, as you can see here, sequence one. And it's also in your timeline. But now the same, these sequences are both connected to each other. As you can see, this tab right here is sequence one. The timeline is not actually where the editing happens, technically. The sequence is where it all happens. The timeline is basically a container for sequences, and then sequences are containers for your files. Which is why these sequences, this is a tab. Sequence one is a tab down here. Because you can have multiple sequences in your timeline. So let me go ahead and just uh, get rid of this sequence here. I'm just gonna delete that. Okay, now the sequence is gone. So how do you create a new sequence? Well, a couple different ways. You can go up to File, and then New, and then sequence. And then that'll create a new sequence. Or you can just right click in the browser and click new sequence. Either one's fine, doesn't matter. There's also a quick key, which is Apple N. That'll create a new sequence. So now we have two sequences. So you go ahead and double click these. Hey, you open that up. Okay, now you notice when there's no sequence open, what happens? The canvas and the timeline both go away. Because without a sequence, a canvas and a timeline is nothing. So go ahead and open sequence, and then open a second one, and you'll see, hey, now they're tabbed. You can switch between these two sequences. And in the sequence is where all your files are going to go.